sana asifiwe tunaweza keti Nataka kuchukua hii nafasi kushukuru Bishop, kushukuru Reverend Alice, my mom kwa kunipatia fursa kama hii kusimama bere zenu, kuniachilia kwa hii madhabahu ambayo husema walipokuwa wakianza hii kazi sitaki kuambia nilikuwa wapi. Kwa hivyo nataka kusema ni asanti. I am so so humbled this afternoon. I also want to thank you, my family. My husband is in the house and my son. Today he decided he's not going to Sunday school. He wants to listen to his mother. So thank you so much. And before I go to the word, we are in a season where everybody is very fearful. If you look at the empty seats today, there are so many. And I'm sure it's not only our church. So many churches are like that today. But I want to remind ourselves that we are not children of fear. We are not the children of fear. Because Christ Jesus lives in us. And I was telling a team in the morning during the second service. On the on that day before Friday when they announced the first case of coronavirus. The Lord took me to the book of Daniel chapter 2. We will not read it, but you're going to read at home. And this is when and Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. And he gathered all his witches. Witches. <laughs> that is what the Bible says. The sorcerers. The astrologers. Oh, what are those? None, he didn't call any prophet, he didn't call any pastor, he didn't call any evangelist. But he called, he called the witches. If you don't interpret this dream, you will be dead. And somehow Daniel heard about it. And he went and told the executor. Hold on. Don't kill them. Give me some time. And then he went and looked for his three friends. And this is what he told his three friends. Go plead for mercy. So that the God of heaven. Remember they were in Babylon. This nation was a nation that was worshipping idols. He told them, go plead for mercy. That God may reveal the mystery of this dream. And the following day, Daniel went before the king. Because he had the answer. And the Lord was reminding me. Because four believers prayed. Four believers pleaded mercy. Four believers called on God. The witches of Babylon were saved. And because I'm not talking to witches this morning, I am talking to believers. Therefore, I know one thing. If the believers that are my voice will plead for mercy, the nation of Kenya will be delivered. The nations of the world will be delivered because some believers in Zimmerman will be pleading for mercy will not be fearing and will not be spreading fear. We will take all the precautions but we will remember that our help can only come from one place. The God.
God of Israel. And this is not an idol worshiping nation. And we are believers. And for that alone, we can walk without fear. Knowing him who delivered the witches will deliver us. Amen. That was not the message of this morning. Today is Ready Sunday. Today is Ready Sunday. And all the services the Redes have been speaking. So I want to pick from where Nancy and Triple H left. And we are looking at a topic called Church Patriotism. Nancy called it royalty. Ah, ile Nancy alisema hiyo ni kuwa una mwaminifu. Eh Triple H. Yule dada yetu Triple H called it chachiriotic. Ah, kaweza kusema ni chachiriotic. Eh ke, Kenyans from Central Kenya may not be able to pronounce that word. Wale wa kutoka mkoa wa kati pengine hawe taweza kutaja hilo neno vizuri. Patriotism means Yo, ya kuwa love for one nation. Ya kupenda nchi yako. And I know we are many, many patriotic Kenyans listening to me this morning. When we were growing up, our generation, many of the songs we learned in school were patriotism songs. I have no idea where they went to. Because our children may not be able to sing them now. We, we talked to her about this nation and the nation became and along the way our patriotism dwindled. We started singing funny songs like Inchi Awatu, Kitu Kidogo, Nawatu Wadogo. And later, we are going to Duraku. Whatever that means. In one of our meetings this last month, Triple H or Helen Mkasa challenged us. How well do we know our church? How, how well do we know our theme? Tunajua mada yetu. How well do we know our core values? Tunajua, uh, um, uh, ya letu. Do we know our vision statement? Tunajua dira yetu. Do we know our mission statement? Tunajua wito wetu, je. Do we? Tunajua, je. And that is how she came up with the word chatriotic. Which means kusema hivi Love for one's rock or church. And why I say the rock or church? Because I know some visitors are in this house this morning. So we are not only talking to Deliverance Church members. We are talking about even those other ones that are came to visiting this afternoon. So what does it mean to belong to the rock or church? And it means owning the vision of the Rocco Church. Defending your Rocco Church. Developing your Rocco Church. Through your giving. And marketing. By your actions and any other platforms that we speak on. Why? Because the Rocco Church is family. We are family. And at this point, I want to introduce myself because I have not introduced myself. My name is Washo. Washo Kamau Mwangi. Anaito Washo Kamau Mwangi. Kamau happens to be my great father. And Mwangi is my husband. 
I have a family. I belong to the Kamau family. I'm married to Ajohi's family. And I have my nuclear family. That is the Mwangi's family. That is where I come from. But in this church, I belong to Sinai cell. Ask your neighbor, which is your cell? I belong to the vineyard zone. I'm an usher in this church. That is the department that I serve. I belong to the protocol department. When I joined this church many years ago, I joined group number 16. They are still very dear to me. Now I belong to several other ladies group. I am a guide in this church. And by the grace of God, I sit at the G12. That is whom I am in this family. The other families, they may call me wife, mother, sister, you know, and all those names. But in this church, all those that I have said, that is whom I am. In a family, Katika jamii, we are either a son or a daughter. Wewe pengine ni binti ama mwana wa kiume. But you can choose to be a son if you are a daughter. Lakini unaweza chagua kuwa kijana kama wewe ni msichana. So long time ago I chose to be a son in Kamau's family. Wakati mmoja akaamua kuwa kijana katika familia ya Kamau. Kitambo sana nikaamua mimi ni mwana wa kiume katika boma ya Kamau hata kama navaaga skirt. Na katika hii boma pia nikachagua kuwa kijana wa Bishop Kimani. Bwana asifiwe. And now you are looking at me and wondering, did they you can be a son? Yes, you can choose. It is a choice because sonship is not about male or it's not about gender. Unaweza chagua kuwa kijana kwa sababu hiyo si mambo ya kijinsia. It is about what you do. Ni kusema ni kumaanisha mambo yao kuna mambo yale unafanya. Ni mambo yale unatenda So you can decide to function as a daughter. Kama utatenda kazi kama binti. Or you can function to, to you can choose to function as a son. Unaweza tenda kazi kama kijana. That is your message for another day. Hiyo ni ujumbe wa siku nyingine. Psalms 127 uh, Zaburi 127 uh, Verse 4 and 5. If you can project for us. Let's read together. Like arrows in the heart of a warrior. So are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed. But shall speak with their eyes. I like an IV version because it says he will not be ashamed when he contends with his enemies at the gate. And yes, that of Syria and IV. That yo, one. Yo, yo. He will not they will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in the court. Bona asifiwe. This is family. And therefore a father who has his quiver quiver Nire kitu tunayakaga mikuki. Mishare. Wana asifiwe. Misha? Na inawekago na hapa nyuma. Maybe wa masai ndi wanaeza erewa hii maneno kutuliko. So the Bible says Kina inasema that a man whose quiver is full yule mtu ambaye pondo yake imeja hile mishale is blessed. Amebarikiwa. Why? Kwa nini? Because when he hears a contention at the gate, he doesn't even have to rise up. The sons will be running to find out who is trying to mess with our home. And they can tell the enemies before you get to our father, you have to sort it out with me. Bwana asifiwe. And contending means they have to be ready for a war. They have to be ready to fight. They have to be ready to strive. Ask your neighbor, 
Uliza jirani yako. Are you a son? Wewe ni mwana wa kiume. Psalms 144 verse 12. Ah Zaburi 144 mstari wa 12. Aya tusome pamoja. Tukasome pamoja. Then our sons will be like well nurtured plants and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. This means the two verses that we have read that every one of us in a family katika jamii we have something to do. Kuna kitu ambacho tunastahili kufanya. We have our functions. Kuna kazi ambayo tunastahili kutenda. The sons are like well nurtured plants. Ah, wale watoto wa kiume wa ni kama mimea ambayo ime they become pillars in a family. And the daughters are properly carved. So that they can adorn a palace or a family. And in this family of DCIKZ, the daughters adorn this palace by prayers. By their giving. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Si umesikia tunajiandaa kwa the heaven's gate. We want to drive all the way to heaven's gate. Na hatutakuwa tukipiga story. Tukwanze kuanzia hapa Nairobi county all the way to county ya, ya Nakuru tutakuwa tukiomba. Bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Some sons become warriors. So that the father of the house becomes comfortable knowing that even though the enemy may come, I will not worry. I'll just go to my quiver. And get an arrow. And shoot. And this week, our father went to his quiver and picked some ladies, shot in first service, second service, third service, and during DOI. There will be another lady standing here. Because his quiver is full. Bwana apewe sifa. So ask your neighbor. Uliza jirani yako. Can Bishop count on you? Askofu anaweza kukuhesabia. And when I say you ask your neighbor, you exactly ask your neighbor. Uliza jirani yako. Can Bishop count on you? Askofu anaweza kukutazamia wewe. Can mom count on you? Mama yetu anaweza kukutegemea. Triple H said. Dada yetu Helen. You can be a member of this church and not be a son or a daughter. So becoming a daughter or a son is not by virtue that you are a member of this church. It is the things that you do. And I want us to quickly look at the marks of a daughter or a son or what I'm calling the signs of belonging. Number one, you defend. Defending means watching over in order to protect from damage. We, we will protect the vision and the work that Bishop and Mom began here many years ago. We will protect the vision and the work that Bishop and Mom began here so that this work can be the way it is. We will protect the reputation of this ministry. I pray that we are not part of the people when you find them discussing the leadership out there that I don't know how they pick these readers. 
In the book of Judges, chapter 4, verse 21 to 22, we will not read. Katika kitabu cha wamuzi sura ya nne, mstari wa 21 moja mpaka 24. It talks about a lady called Jael. Anasema kuhusu, inasema kuhusu mtu anaitua Jael. The children of Israel were in war with their enemies. Watoto wa Israel walikuwa na vita na pamoja na adui zao. And the commander of the enemies camp. Na yule adui alipokuja. When he realized they were getting defeated. Walipoona kwamba wanashindwa. He ran for his life. Akakimbilia usalama wake. And because redes were beautiful and nice. Kwa sababu wa mama wa dada tuko wa rembo na tuko wazuri. He ran to the tent of a woman. Akaingia kwa nyumba ya dada mmoja. And this red was called Jael. Akakimbia kwa ile hema ya and Jair welcomed him to her tent. And the commander wanted water. But by the wisdom of God, Jair thought, I will not only give you water, I will give you milk. Because he was getting the commander into a trap. Because she was not only a daughter, but a son in Israel. She knew Israelites were at war. Alikuwa na jua wa Israeli walikuwa mbitani. And when he saw the enemy approaching, she knew he had Christ my opportunity. Akajua hii ni pulsa yangu. And so he gave Sasara the milk. Akaweza kumpatia yule mkua mwana jeshi. Aka muambia nataka kukufita hapa. Aka mfunika jamaa karara. And this lady na yule dada took a peg and Killed the commander. Akaweza kuwa yule mkuwa jesh. Bwana asifiwe. Because she was a son in Israel. She knew. Kwa sababu alikuwa kijana katika Israel. I will not allow you to escape. I will defend my people. Mimi nitapigania watu wangu. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 34 to 36. Samuel wa kwanza sura ya kumina saba. We will not also read. Go read. This is the story of David. He's in the wilderness. He's taking care of what had been entrusted to him by his father. And when the lion came, when the bear came, David did not run away. He got hold of them. And killed them with his bare hands. Because he knew that which had been entrusted to me, I have to defend it. And this morning, Jehovah God is asking us, the sons and daughters in Zimmerman, what are you doing to defend that which has been entrusted to you in this ministry? Bwana apewe sifo. Number two, uh, chapili. we own the ministry. Uh, tukaweze ku huduma. We own. Tukaweze ku wifanya huduma ikawe yetu. We cherish what we own. Tukaweze kusharekea kile ambacho ni chetu. Because many times it costs us something. Kwa sababu ili tugarimu kitu. If you belong to this family of this Ikai family, kama we ni moja wapo wa familia hii ya this Ikai zi, we will cherish it. Tutaweze kusharekea. When we own, wakati tuna we will be present. We will come for Monday meetings. We will come for Wednesday meetings. We will be here on Sunday. We will belong in the cells. We will belong in the networks. We have the Redes network. We have the men network. We have the youth network. We will also belong in departments. And we have been in this church. We have intercessory. We have Sunday school. We have ushering. We have protocol. We have security. Hospital visitation. Prison ministry. And many others. And even that one. Na hata hiyo. Iyo unaonaga hakuna katika hii kanisa. Iyo un... If you approach mom and bishop, they will show you how to start it off. In the book, in the book of Luke, 15.25 to that one, uh, 
It has one of the saddest accounts of a son. Iko na hadithi sana ya kuhofisha sana. Of a son. Yule ya kijana ambayo ni ya kuhofisha sana. This is the brother to the political son. Yule ni yule dungu wa yule mtoto aliyepotea kijana aliyepotea this is the one who remained behind yule ndiye alibaki pale nyumbani but the sad bit is ile mambo ya kuhofisha ni kwamba he knew nothing completely nothing what was happening in the household of his father hakuna kitu alichokuwa akijua kilikuwa kinaendelea katika nyumba ya baba yake to the extent kiasi kwamba that the servants ya kwamba uh, watumishi are the ones who are giving him information wale ndio walikuwa wanamjurisha mambo because he came home and found a celebration kwa sababu alikuja nyumbani akapata sherehe and he was wondering na alikuwa anauliza what is going on in our home ni nini inaendelea nyumbani mwetu and the servants were telling him na watumishi walikuwa wanamwambia you are wrong lost brother is back yule dadugu yako mpotevu ameendi and that is why we are celebrating my prayer is ombi langu ni kwamba everybody had my voice this afternoon will never be said of you that you are you belong to this church and you're not concerned about the affairs of the ministry i pray that you be a son who is a son a son who knows what goes on around this place a son who see a gap and step into it yule kijana anaona kitu ambacho hakiko anakimbia pale anajaza hiyo pengo bwana asifiwe amen so that we can say when you say i belong to dcikz tunaposema ya kwamba sisi ni wana wa hili hii jamii ya dcikz then you mean it ya kwamba utakuwa unamaanisha hivyo the other number three, cha tatu develop and grow the ministry kuendeleza na kukuza huduma how do we grow this ministry utaweza kuendeleza na kukuza hii huduma aje by our participation and giving in projects kuhusu kuhusika na kuweza kujitokutoa ku, kwa hii huduma the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says kitabu cha malachi 3 mstari wa 10 kinasema hivi bring ye the whole tithe anasema tukaweza kuleta zaka kamili not part si sehemu whole kamili yote deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 17 kumbukumbu la torati sura ya 16 mstari hivi each of you kila mmoja wenu must bring a gift lazima akaweze kuleta zawadi in proportion to the way the lord your god has blessed you kulingana na vile mungu amekubariki so please don't come to the house of god empty handed usikuje kwa nyumba ya bwana ukiwa huna chochote it is not acceptable haikubaliki bwana asifiwe and we serve with our tithes with our finances tunatumikia kupitia zaka zetu na pesa zetu We also grow and develop this ministry through our talents. Tunakuza hii huduma kupitia talanta zetu and our time. Na na muda wetu. Kupeana muda wetu. So ukiona wengine hapa tukishida hii kanisa. Usiulize kwani hatunaka kitu ya kufanya. It is because we are sons. Ni kwa sababu sisi ni wana wa kiume. Bwana asifiwe. And don't Don't be the type that complains. Tumemaliza hii project. Sasa tumeingia hii. Sasa ni gani ngine wataleta? Usikuwa mtu wa kunumunika. When you speak, unaponena, please on. Uh, say next tunaleta. Ukaweze kusema hili. We tuki... will be doing this. Ukasema okay. tutakuwa tunafanya hivi. We as the family of deliverance. Tusema sisi kama jamii ya DCIKZ. You know some of us in this church or in that rock church where you come from if you're a visitor some of us say you know we are too international to serve rockare you feel too international to serve rockare let me put this across to you if you want to get international we start here at home Mashinani. Ya kwamba zile 
So before you become international, serve the man of God that God has given you an opportunity to. The final mark of a son or a daughter, and I want to dwell here a little, honor the vision career of this house. If you are a visitor, honor the vision career of your local church. What is honor? Honoring is holding a person or idea or a thing in high esteem. Honor is given freely, it's never demanded. Sons and daughters, honor the grace upon the vision career. Because we have chosen to submit under them. The Bible says in the book of Romans 13:7. Give to everyone what you owe them. Uh, if you owe taxes, Ushuru, pay taxes. Kama ni ushuru, ushuru. If revenue, kama tena ni ile feather, uh, feather, then revenue. If respect, kama ni heshima, then respect. Hiyo heshima. If honor, kama ni heshima, then honor. Heshima. First Timothy 5.17 says, uh, wa kwanza, wa sura ya tano, the wa elders who direct the affairs of the church wale waze, ya kanisa, well, well are worthy of double honor. Especially those who work in preaching and teaching. Ususa, wale wana kuhubiri, na kufundisha. Uh, when we go to the book of Numbers 12, we read the story of one family. This is Miriam. The priest Aaron. And the prophet Moses. They were all brothers and sisters. And Aaron and Miriam got aside wakaweza kukaa kando and they started discussing their brother Moses wakaanza kumsengenya ndugu yao Musa Moses was not in their presence uh, Musa hakuwa mahali pale and everything they said about Moses na kila kitu walisema juu ya Musa was true ilikuwa ni kweli he had married an Ethiopian woman alikuwa ameoa mtoto um, bibi mkushi which was contrary to the directives of God na ilikuwa ni kinyume na maagizo ya Bwana but the Bible says Bible inasema, that God had. Moses did not have to hear. Uh, Musa and remember these are brothers and they were brothers and sisters. And the Bible says that Miriam was struck with leprosy and she was put outside the gate for seven days. And the, Bible, and the Bible records and says the children of Israel could not move. They were prayed for seven days. Because a brother to the prophet had spoken against his own brother. What am I trying to say? Bishop and mom could have come from the same village you come from. They could be your age mates. You may be running more than they, they are. Uh, they could be your cousins. But I want to submit this and say. You are not on the same level. You are not on the same level. I, Elizabeth, Pastor Solomon, Pastor Beatrice, there, we could be sitting with them at the G12 of Revel. But I want to remind ourselves we are never at 
at the same level, brethren. So be careful what you say about them. It could be true. Moses, it is true he had married an Ethiopian woman. But because this was the anointed of God, God became too angry with them. And their destiny, the entire Israelite destiny was drained for seven years, seven days. So be careful what you say concerning them. You could be praying our destiny for a wrong period of time. Bishop and mom has given us access to them. As kofu na mama yetu ametupatia uwanzi wa kuweza kuwaona. You know those born, those of you who are born of, and brought up here, I mean, spiritually you have been raised here. You do not know any other prophet. You only know them. Wale ambao mulizaliwa hapa, hamjui mama wazazi wengine wa kiroho. Ask us who came from other places. Sisi wengine tulitoka mahali kuingine. So when I say they have given us access, they have given us access. Tukisema ya kwamba wamejifungua kwetu ni kweli. Let us not take that for granted. Tisi weze kuchukulia hiyo kitu kwa uraisi. Honor them. Tukaweze kuwa Honor the grace of God upon their eyes. And in the next two minutes, I want to conclude and say, I have talked about the marks of belonging. And throughout the day, that is what we've been talking. Are there benefits for me being a son or a daughter in the house? Yes, there are all benefits. And I want just to look at three. Number one, you are capacity as built in this ministry. Because they see the giftings in us. If I came to this church, however anointed I am, and Bishop and mom never noticed it, it would go to waste. But because they noted it, they have been fanning it. They have been giving me responsibilities. I've been serving. And as I serve, I grow. And that is one benefit of being a son. Our capacity is built as we serve others. And we, we not only grow spiritually, but even out there in our businesses, in our corporate assignments, because they have found that which is in us. Number two, networking and friendship. Some of you, you are greatest and you are your best networkings, you found them in this church. Pastor Ares keeps on saying, we come here for spiritual fellowship and for social fellowship. My best friends come from this church. Except two who are from my high school days. Bishop has given us platform to network in businesses. So we have benefited in doing business with others. And finally, Priestly blessings. Uh, Pastor Aris has just done that this morning. Uh, and blessing is the act of declaring God's favor and goodness upon others. When Bishop or Mom comes and stands here uh, and declares the blessings of God, uh, he is telling God to wrap 
us in his protection and loving care. Wakaweze kutuf, akaweze kutufunika na ulinzi wake na mapenzi yake. And the mantle or grace of releasing blessings is only upon two people. Uh, na ile uh, neema ya kuweza kuachilia ile neema na baraka it's upon your biological father. Ah, uh, iko juu ya baba yako mzazi. And upon the priests. Na uhani wako. So we receive that every Sunday. Na regardless of when you saw your biological father last. Kila Jumapili tunapokuja hapa tunapokea hiyo baraka ya kiukuhani. Because I don't remember any Sunday. Kwa sababu si sikumbuki Jumapili yoyote. When mom or dad has not stood here and proclaimed blessings upon us. Ambapo hajaweza kusimama hapa na kutangaza baraka juu yetu. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 2020 20, Believe in the Lord your God uh, you shall be established believe in his prophets so shall you prosper ukaweza kuamini Mungu wako na utaweza kunawiri Amen So you believe in the words that dad and mom starts here and speaks upon us. Ukaweza kuamini mambo yale askofu na mama yetu wanasimama hapa na kunena. And our lives just takes a turn around. Na maisha yetu yanaweza kubadilishwa. So by belonging to this church, kuwa mmoja wa wana wa nyumba hii, we are partakers of the priestly blessings that bishop and mom pronounces upon us every day. Sunday tunaweza kushiriki baraka ambazo askofu na mama yetu wanaweza kututangazia kila or any other delegated priest ama yule mtu, mtu mwingine ambaye anaweza kuwa amepatiwa hilo jukumu so that when mom and dad are away kwa sababu kwa kusema kwamba wakiwa hawako and another pastor stands here na mchungaji mwingine anasimama hapa you go home thinking you did not receive your priestly blessing unaenda nyumbani ukifikiria hukupokea baraka zake they delegate uh, ni wale wanapeana majukumu Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe family. Amen. Are we here? Tuko hapa. Are we blessed this afternoon? Tumebarikiwa. And finally, na mwishowe. You cannot belong to this family if you do not belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. Huwezi kuwa mmoja wa familia hii kama wewe huusiwa Yesu. You will never operate as a son or a daughter. Huwezi fanya kazi kama mwana binti ama kijana wa hii nyumba if you haven't given your life to the lord kama hujasalimisha maisha yako kwa Yesu Kristo and at this point na wakati huu are you there uko pale you have never said yes to jesus hujawahi mwambia yesu to be your personal savior akaweza kuja kukuokoa that is the first step of belonging to the family hiyo ndio hatua ya kwanza ya kuweza kushukua mmoja by belonging to the eternal family of god kukuwa mmoja wa familia ya ile ya mbinguni are you there uko pale and you want to surrender your life to na jesus na unataka kusalimisha maisha yako kwa yesu we are sure not in a hurry when we are doing this atukwangi na haraka tukifanya hili are you there uko pale je if you're not there kama hauko even after this hata baada ya ibada you can see any of the readers unaweza aona mmoja wa viongozi wa shamanzi the security outside there wale wa usalama and they will lead you to christ na wataweza kukuelekeza vile utampokea yesu let us stand up and pray tukaweza kusimama tuombe our father our god in the mighty name of jesus baba yetu katika jina la yesu We want to thank you. We want to honor you, Lord. That first we belong to you. And you have planted us in this ministry of deliverance church Zimmerman God. That we can be sons and daughters our father. I pray for each one of us dear Lord. That we will take our sonship serious king in glory. That we will do that which you have called us to do dear Lord. We will do it with the seriousness that it deserves our father. That we will submit to the leadership of this church king in glory. That we will honor them that you have put over us king in glory. We honor you and we bless you. Receive every praise this afternoon and receive honor. In Jesus name have we prayed and believed. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini.